You're listening to the KB Podcast Network. You are listening to the very first episode of Supernatural Living with Beth Packard. I'm so glad you're here. I have just been wondering and asking the Lord all all evening about what he wanted me to start the very first episode of this with. And I just closed my eyes and I opened my Bible and I just asked the Holy Spirit to just come and, and share a verse with me. And as I opened my Bible, I opened up to John chapter 15, verse 12. And I want to read it to you because it's so, it's so what I've been going through all week. It's actually like the last seven days of my life. This is, this is it. And I love how the Holy Spirit works like that, how he just speaks to us. Uh, when we ask him to show up and we ask him to to minister to us, he just does it in such a confirming way. And so I just want to read this. Uh, if you have your Bible with you, just turn to John 15, verse 12. I'm reading out of my Passion Translation, so it may be a little different than yours, but it's it's excellent. So this is what it says. So this is my command. Love each other deeply as much as I have loved you. For the greatest love of all is a love that sacrifices all. And this great love is demonstrated when a person sacrifices his life for his friends. He goes on in verse 14 and says, You show that you are my intimate friends when you obey all that I have commanded you. And that I have never called you servants because a master doesn't confide in his servants. And servants don't always understand what the master is doing. But I call you my most intimate friends, for I reveal to you everything that I have heard from my father. You didn't choose me, but I have chosen and commissioned you to go into the world to bear great fruit. And your fruit will last because whatever you ask of my father for my sake, he will give it to you. So this is my parting command. Love one another deeply. Wow. I just embraced that as I sat and I read that first, it was actually verses um, 12 and 13 that I read about the greatest love of all is the love that sacrifices all, that gives all. The greatest love is demonstrated when a person sacrifices his life for his friends. And last weekend, I spent last weekend with a friend. She had a really exciting thing that the Lord had called her to and she was very nervous about it she was so nervous to do it on her own and I felt like the Lord wanted me to help her to be there for her to support her to go through the the um exciting adventure it wasn't really a struggle it was more of an exciting adventure and and so I spent the whole weekend with her and just encouraged her and lifted her up and it was such an amazing time And I got to spend some time also with some other friends on Monday. And I just, I just had such an amazing week. And a couple days ago, a friend here locally was in need and I was able to help her as well through a challenging time. Um, something that she wasn't expecting that we weren't expecting that kind of put a strain on, on life as you know it. And, uh, I just, I felt like God said, just stop everything, just stop everything and give, give all you have to her right now. Just love her and support her. And, and then I open up this, this scripture tonight where it says that the greatest love of all is one that sacrifices. And I thought, you're right, Lord, you're so right. Jesus surely knows this. He literally laid down his life. He sacrificed. God sacrificed the ultimate, the absolute ultimate thing he could have when he sacrificed his son, Jesus. Like Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. And so when he's telling us that it is our job, you know, like to really show love, true love looks like something, it sacrifices. I just want to embrace that. I want to embrace it every day. I don't know about you, but I just am like, wow, 
I, I didn't even know, like here I had a lot of things to get done this week. I had so many things on my list. You know, I said in, in the intro that I was, I'm a doer, like I really love to get things done. And so one of my hardest things to do is just rest and uh, put the to-do list aside. But God just shows me over and over again how important that is. And especially tonight, like as I'm sitting here, I'm just meditating on this and I'm thinking, wow, like love sacrifices so much. And that's all he's asking of us. Like, it seems like, oh, that's all. <laughs> I just said, it's all he's asking of us. And yet it's everything like to be intimate with him, to really know him, we get to surrender all that we are to him. We get to obey him. I love in the um, verse 13, uh, actually 14, it says, you show that you are my intimate friends when you obey all that I have commanded you, when we obey him. So this week, like as I had things that I needed to get done, I chose not to do my own will, but I chose to do what he told me to do. I chose to obey him and I chose to surrender that part of what I wanted to do what he wanted to be his hands and feet. And I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm just giving you an example of how we grow in intimacy with him. We surrender what our will is, what we want, what we desire, and we choose to do what he asks us to. And the more we can do that, the more intimate we will grow with him, the more he will ask us to do things because he can trust us and he can know that we're going to walk with him. We're going to talk with him and we're going to get, um, we're just going to ask him questions and we're going to say, how can I help and bless others around me? And so I absolutely love that. We go from being servants to being his friends. It says, I will call you my most intimate friends for I reveal everything that I've heard from my father. So if we want to be intimate with him, if we want to know what the father's saying, which Jesus only says what the father's saying and only does what the father's doing, if we want to know that, then we have to be in a close, intimate relationship with him. We're going to be his friends, his intimate friends. And this scripture says that to be his intimate friends, we must obey. So this kind of turned into how do we become intimate with the Lord? Well, we need to obey what he's asked us to do. And so I just encourage you, if you have something right now that you know the Lord's asked you to do and you haven't done it yet, or maybe you haven't heard from the Lord in some time, and you're wondering why he's not speaking to you, go back to the last thing that he told you to do. The last thing that he asked of you and see if you actually did it. See if that is something that you need to uh, just get accomplished. If you need to finish that up. I know sometimes I'll be like, what's going on? Like, Lord, like, where are you? <laughs> I haven't heard from you. And, and I'll think, okay, that's because um, I forgot to do this other thing that he had asked of me. And so I go back and I do that. And it's so quickly that he's right back there. And it's not like he's giving me the silent treatment. It's just that his intimate friends, like if think about you and your friend, like if you are asking something of them, if you needed something from a friend and they were just like, eh, I'm busy, I can't do that. And they don't say anything to you. They don't do it. You know, you're in desperate need of something and you need that from them. Like you're not going to you're not going to want a deeper intimacy with them during that time. Like you need something from them and the, you know, you you're needing them to respond to you and they're not. And so that's kind of the way I look at it. Like we were made in the image of God. We were made, you know, he has emotions. He has things going on just like we do, you know, like he, we are made in his image. And so I love that we can, um, see him in others. We can see him in our own self. And I love that he wants to be near us. We're, uh, this book that I'm reading right now, it's all about like how he's, he's desiring for us to draw near to him, that he is waiting. You know, he just waits. He sits and waits for us to draw near to him. His, his ultimate goal, the reason he, uh, sent his son Jesus was to restore. Yes. To, you know, for our sins to cover our sins, but to restore intimacy with him. That was like, that's like the main, the good, you know, sometimes all we hear about is that Jesus came to restore, um, that which was lost. And we think of it as, you know, recovering like our sins and covering our sins, which is amazing. And I'm not making light of that. I'm just saying like, I believe that 
God was so excited about restoring intimacy with us that he desires to be intimate with us above so much else. And I just, I want to do what he's called me to do. And so I just encourage you today. I encourage you to obey when you hear his voice and you know that you need to be doing something that you will obey him and not take three months, but a quick obedience We've been reviewing with my kids uh, this really fun phrase that goes, yes, mom, I'll obey all the way the happy way. And sometimes they want to roll their eyes at me and uh, not do it all the way or not do it right away or not the happy way. But we're teaching them through that, that. It's similar. It's exactly what we need to do if we want to grow in intimacy with our father. We need to obey him when he asks us to do something or he tells us to do something like that's how we're going to grow in intimacy. So I just want to encourage you today to step into that, whatever it is that you're waiting for. Step into that. Just do it. It's it's exciting. It's fun to surrender our own lives and to just seek after him. It comes with such an incredible opportunity to know him more and to just be blessed by the presence of the living God. I sure hope today blessed you. I wanted to just get back to some of the basics and just kind of talk about how important it is to be obedient today. Um, I'm looking forward to jumping into some deeper things with you. Don't forget, you can email me at bethpackard at gmail.com or get on my website at bethpackard.com and leave me a message and share with me what you'd love for me to discuss and talk about. I want to be able to interact with you guys and just know your story, hear your story. If you have prayer requests, jump on there and just send those to me on my website. I would love to connect with you. If you enjoyed the podcast today, please subscribe, share it, and leave a comment. And we will chat with you soon. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.